And starting in this heat three, uh, Michaela Elliott, Cincinnati, Wyoming. Lane two, Catherine Geary, Cincinnati, Marymount. Lane three, Dottie Callard, Cincinnati, Seven Hills. Lane four, Alexandra Miller, Cincinnati, Summit Country Day. Lane five, her teammate, Sophia Zaring, Cincinnati, Summit Country Day. Lane six, Gracie Storm, Clarksville, Clinton Massey. Lane seven, Jillian Rice, Cincinnati, Indian Hill. And Elizabeth Bonnell in lane eight from Cincinnati, Marymount. Out first, Alexander Miller in lane four. She's representing Summit Country Day, Cincinnati. And her entry time from sectionals was right, very, very close. She came in from sectionals with a 516.98. And as we pointed out, kind of the bogey of the, what it took last year to get the state meet was 516.56. So mm -hmm. I'm sure she's looking to drop a little bit of time from her... Uh, from her uh, sectional per performance. All right, and on deck here, we're going to be interviewing um, Claire Farrell, winner of the 50 freestyle. All right, Claire, so winner of the 50 freestyle, what does this mean to you as a senior? Um, it's it's just really cool to win as a senior, you know, just like w watch how I've grown over the years from not even being on podium uh, freshman year and then sophomore year being eighth and last year being second mm -hmm. and now winning it is just... Now you have the gold. <laughs> yeah, so that's, it's just really cool to see just all the growth that I've, I've been through and just... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what advice would you give to some of these freshman swimmers that are kind of working their way up in the ranks? Um, just really never give up. Um, really train hard and really work hard and, and just always just do what your coach says and really try and go that extra mile if you really want to if you really want to grow and be up there because it, it's possible and just don't ever give up on it. Very cool. Claire, you are a senior. Um, will you be swimming next year? Uh, yeah, I'm swimming at the University of Cincinnati next year. All right, congratulations and good luck, and then good luck at the state meet in Canton. Thank you. And so far out to the early lead, Alexandra Miller. Still swimming strong there in lane four, followed very closely in lane six by its so uh, Gracie Storm, turning here at the 300, 305s for both girls. Uh, Gracie Storm had a slightly faster last 50 at 31.3 compared to Alexandra Miller's 32.0. Mm -hmm. Again, their strategy in this race, trying to be able to save up enough energy to turn on at the end, but not get too far behind. It's like Gracie Storm on that last 50 tried to make moves and pulled slightly ahead of Alexandra Miller trying to keep those splits in the 32 low to mid range. Gracie Storm really picking up her tempo here. Turning at 409.75, a 31.8 for the last 50 split, really trying to form her race. I think Gracie's really trying to put together a very solid last, last half of the race here and starting mm -hmm. to put some distance between her and the rest of the field. Yep. Starting to move up here, kind of in lane three, Dottie Callard chasing down Alexandra Miller. Also out here in lane seven, Jillian Rice trying to catch some of that draft from Gracie Storm. Looks like we're going to have a nice battle for seconds shaping up here. But uh, so far, it looks like Gracie Storm just putting the hammer down 
And another 31-8 split from her in the bell lap. And last 15 meters, it's going to put up a very, very nice, very nice swim compared to her sectional time. Touching first and a 5.11.48. Last 50, breaking 30 seconds, coming in at 29.86. Very good swim for her. Second place in lane seven, Jillian Rice. 5.16.83, which was right on the bubble from last year, as well as Dottie Callard, another 5.16 up there in lane three.